tomorrow. The sun will come out. <laughs> hey, Scorpio, it's me, Brandy from Tori and I dot com. Very inclined to tell you to go watch Aries. There is some similar stuff. Um, just premeditated. I was getting. Maybe you have an Aries placement. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries. Um, so let's just let let's dive in. There's like uh, shame, guilt, mental contest, uh, addiction, addictive personalities. You know, and it's like we're needing to balance our emotions and our intelligence. Okay. You are trying to enter a creative phase, but it's like the emotional phase is in your life, which is triggering you, not knowing what to do, um, clouding your ability to think logically and make rational decisions. Someone may be antagonizing you, which is why I said go watch the Aries reading. Okay. It is your intuition battling your logic and it's leading well, it's trying to lead you to uh, personal and professional uh, connections, projects, even a relationship that's mutual respect, though. Okay? <laughs> Jesus. You can't see her. This is why I'm doing voice recordings. She's decided she should take over my workspace, so I do apologize if you hear her. Okay? Um... You, you are being led, Scorpio, to combine your creativity with your practicality. And it's like strategizing and make a, making a plan. It's like you envision where you want to be and then you make things your chief aim. Your chief aim are tiny things and you give yourself a 90 day period to get these things done. Okay? That's where you can do the focus. That's where you can... Um, balance I think your direction of what I'm getting so I, I mean if you didn't hear me I kept getting the sun will come out tomorrow as I was like waiting <laughs> waiting to start this I don't know it's some someone is just feeling so drained so uh, you know, waiting for that idea that they had about their life or what, you know, what was supposed to happen. And it's because other things have been getting in the way. Anger, emotions. It's really, you need a chief aim. You, you're going through an assessment, a period of assessment and growth. So while you may feel like you're tied down, you're not really. They're just trying to get you to observe what is distracting you so you can carry it out. The I, Like, maybe you have an idea, but you're so focused on the idea of what it should be, you've not taken, like, logical steps towards it. You know it's coming. It's like your unconscious is trying to um, cut through your logic to govern these decisions. It's like uh, bringing your frantic thoughts down to earth to channel giving them blessing after I bless this thought I bless this I bless this you know and uh, I bless what cannot be seen that's going to come through you know especially with me taking these actions yeah stay away from people you usually clash with thank you spirit don't go around people that you clash with old lovers friends whatever stay away from them cherish the memories and bless them <laughs> Cherish memories and bless them and move the hell on. Okay? Because there is a guy trying to win at all costs here. So I don't know if that's you. I don't know if that's someone you're dealing with. But it's like they're trying to juggle. They're, they're triggering the light and the dark. That's the addictive thing. It's like a mental contest trying to win or something. They're trying to overpower. Yeah, I don't like that. Something happened in uh, April 25th. April 30th for some of you in regards to this so maybe think back on that it's like what is your position what's your blind spots you need to reveal them so that you're honest with people boundaries and yourself making those hard decisions that are the best decisions for you you know I, I just said this to an Aries it's a there's a good obsession and a bad obsession the good obsession is 
You take the distractions away, you give yourself the 90 days and you hyper focus on the things you want to create. Something that will bring stability instead of being in 500 projects at one time spinning the same wheel. 90 day increments, chief aims, you know, we have to have maintenance, okay, everyday maintenance, we gotta pay our bills, but the chief aim, you know, that's what I've been calling it, chief aim. What is your chief aim to clear out of the way? Your time, I've, I've even had clients be like, you know, you help a lot of people, you shouldn't, I'm like, boundaries? I shouldn't have boundaries where you think you can contact me at midnight to drop whatever I'm doing or wake up to do something for you? How do you think I can help heal people if I'm completely drained and you have no respect? Go through my calendar right now because I have a chief aim. Okay? And while we have to have maintenance and I'm here to help everyone, I also help animals. And right now, the animals are going to be eradicated, so that's my chief aim of getting them taken care of. This is the side. You get me? I hope you understand me. You're supposed to enjoy moving and choosing. You know, moving, choosing, moving, choosing. Yours, not someone else's. Where are you and what do you want to do next? Have you made a decision? You know, have you worked out this path? Have you done it so many times in your head yet you haven't started? You know, you need to understand even 10% effort because you're drained is still 10% on the days you don't have 100. If you sit around and you wait to be 100% to get something done, you're going to be waiting forever. Friend. Okay? So it's like you feel like you can't turn around so you're just settling where you are and uh, that's it's not satisfying your soul. It's not satisfying your soul, friend. Your stability, spirit's trying to lead you towards it, okay? I just seen someone needing to get into the corners of <laughs> their shelves or their drawers and clean them out for some reason out there. Uh, you need to reject stagnancy. You need to take action. You know, uh, this hurts. It's uncomfortable. Make major changes in your life. It's a natural part. You need to be pushed against your flow right now like change is your aim and your purpose you know, that's that's what I have okay put yourself in an unpredictable habitat of the things that you're wanting to do the people that you um, the the plans that you want you put yourself around people like that when it's uncomfortable that's okay it's gonna force you okay so I mean there's a lot of almost like roots finding the the goal like it's hitting the mark in my head okay it is with purpose just so you know it's not going to be trouble free you got to set strong intentions so the results are real and you may feel guilt over someone needing your help or something but are they constantly needing it? Are they constantly distracting you? Okay? That's what you have to be logical about. You will have the stability. If you focus, there's something about the end of July. Okay? Standing up for yourself. Making these plans. So it goes from the end of July all the way over into March of 2025, friends, for your stability. You may take two steps forward and one step back, but it's right there, okay? I'll catch you later.